What's up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Shield. I'm be Brown here. Let's get to work. All right, so we heard an explosion go off last episode, and as you can see, I'm home. Home sweet home. Only going to be home for a few hours, but better than nothing. Oh, wrong button. So I got my my 8-bit dough because I left it home for some reason. I don't know why the hell I did, but I did. Sonia, what's going on up there? Ooh, hoo hoo. Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. Hey, it's that asshole bed. Or Bede. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those witching stars. Wow. This prick. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars. We want to please him. Corpeta. Corpeta ja. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Hey, dickhead. Oh, my. You again. Yeah, I knew you were George Decay from the start. Yeah, that was an insult. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Okay. Ass kicking time. Turn this down a bit more. I don't want my mic to kick up. Go on, Pupitar. Crunch him. Damn! <laughs> I've already seen more than enough to judge you on your team's abilities. Yeah, I wasn't too concerned about that move. Crunch his ass. Go ahead, use that. I don't give a fuck. You've already got a defense down. Look at that. Now watch this. <laughs> Fucking asshole. What the hell's a hat drum? Oh, this little prick, okay. Don't know what that is. Let's try Stone Edge. Maybe it'll do something to him. Uh oh. <laughs> My partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? I'll be real happy when Pupitar learns, uh. When Pupitar learns, um, uh, uh, God damn, he dodged it twice! When he evolves in Tyranitar, then these psychic moves won't do shit, because he'll be a dark type. What is it, Dragon Dark or something like that? Like, pseudo-legendary? Go, Corvusquire! Avenge your friend! on him. Damn it, really? Hang in there, Corvus Squire. Girl peck his ass one more time. Okay, that sounded horrible. <laughs> Gotharita. Oh, we know what to do with this. Thanks. Get him, Cinderance. Like I said, they must be running out of ideas or something, because god damn it all on a butt fucking stick. Alright. My gym Pokemon are going. Ooh, discharge. That's a good move to have. The user strikes everything around it by letting loose a flare of electricity. It may also cause paralysis. See a Spark, we don't need you. We'll keep Nuzzle because it's got 100% uh, uh, paralyzed rate. 
At least that's what T says. Ponita. Okay, this time it's a psychic type. Now yeah, let's keep Cinderance up. He's doing all right. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from everything I want? The only thing you need is a fucking, like, punch in the jaw, a kick in the groin, and a punch to the liver. Yeah, T warned me, Ponita in this is, uh, it's not a fire type. But that works in my favor. <laughs> ah, this has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Oh, bitch about it on Facebook, why don't you, you fucking twat waffle? But why? Why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the only ch one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite, someone who can show the future of the Galar region. Challenger bed. Oleana. Oh, they're pissed. I wonder what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient room when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of Pokemon's simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? I like how he still has that shitty grin on him. Young Betty. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It is, it's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to the trainer school, to give you a chance of success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Yeah, that's right. Get fucked, you son of a bitch. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we can sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Name one. Challenge your bed. We will take, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Ah, Sonya and Hunter P2. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Yeah, thank God. That dude had a dick up his ass the size of Ron Jeremy. I know what I said. You know, during one of Bed's matches, I heard the announcer say that Betty had no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bed under his wings, and so Bed was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. It looks like it did. It looks like a bunch of flowers with a shield and a sword built, uh, drawn into them. Oh, crunch berries. Holy shit. Betty was right. Oh, we're going to be digs, aren't we? We're going to steal this, aren't we? <laughs> Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought to the life for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? A sword and a shield? Right. More than any other hero, those th there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The same as the tapestries. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue of the Beauty drop in? Oh. Those more than any statue of a hero in old tapestry. These ruins made at truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... Well, it's Pokemon Shield. Let's go with Shield. The Shield is a Pokemon. Yep. I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? I sense a conspiracy, y'all. With your help, I feel like we really made a big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these so you've given it your best in the Chim Chowns too, okay? You also be heading to Bal Balonia right next, right? 
Why do they give these pe places such fucked up names that are hard to pronounce? I got some revives. That's always nice. That was pretty shitty of Betty. He should have gotten authorization before he did that shit. Get on your bike. Let's go. I can't wait to catch more Pokemon. Neither can I. Should be able to catch more level 40 and up Pokemon. Level 40 and lower Pokemon now. What a match. Fantastic battle that. Thanks for waiting. Pupit turn. The rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again soon. All right, well, let's check the map then. That's not the map. Glenwood Tangle to reach Bellalea. So I guess I gotta go. I guess I gotta go all the way up here. Got sunshine all the way there. Aw, hang on one second, y'all. Look who wants to come say hi. My little angel, she's getting so big. <laughs> All right. Don't climb up me, I'm not wearing pants. I'm in my underwear, y'all. <laughs> well, she's rubbing up on me. <laughs> you wanna get to Bololena, you'll have to make your way through Glimwood Tangle. Remember, in Glimwood Tangle, it is important to touch the mu- Oh, come on, really? I can't touch the mushrooms, I'm allergic! Well, it is what it is. I don't think allergies follow me into the game, do they? <laughs> what? Ooh, spooky. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a Pokemon fight. Okay. A wild impotent. That sounds like a play on words on impotent. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. You want to get up in uh, Lisa's new chair? Okay. Whoops, I killed it. Yeah, my little princess, she just wants some love. This is kind of reminding me of uh, Fall Fantasy uh, 10 when the. Uh, aww. Are you looking for mushrooms that give off life when you touch them? Cook Derek. Okay. Oh, this little bastard. Okay, I got him. Hopefully this will hit him. There you go. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is it? Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay. Let's try Earthquake. Maybe it's got some poison in it. No. God damn, did they nerf that attack. Oh, it's strong against it. That's not good. Oh, now she's in my computer chair. Aren't you sitting in your computer chair, Hunter P? Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, I, basically, we replaced the old black and red chair uh, when we got Lisa's uh, chair in for her uh, for Christmas finally, and uh, now the old chair is just over there. That's actually now my computer chair. Why did I do that again? Giga. Dr uh oh. Oh, crunch. 
must be a grass type. I know what to do with grass types. Smoke them. <laughs> She's wandering around sniffing everywhere. Well, you got fresh litter if you need to take a shit. Just make sure you cover it. Ah, oh, you little fucker. Hata! Not explain it. That's right, you get the fuck out of here, you fucking asshole. I don't even know what Pokemon that is. Sinistia? Oh. They're running out of ideas, guys! Try double kicking it. It's a ghost type. Well, I know what to do with ghost types. Set them on fire. Hata! Hey, a strong trainer. That's rare than rare mushrooms. Back to full power, and somebody is home. That's just a dead end, ain't that a bitch? Hello. Oh, he don't want to fight, does he? Okay. Whoa. This is nice and spooky, ain't it, y'all? That just takes me in a circle. A, a bag of bright powder. A, it casts a tricky glare that lowers the opposing Pokemon's accuracy. Oh, that'd be actually kind of useful to have. No, go away. Two full heals. Can't ever have too many of those. This is like something out of, uh, out of, uh, what's it called? Out of a Skyward Sword, not Skyward Sword, uh, a big root. An item to be held by Pokemon boosts the amount of HP the holder restores from HP steel. Ooh, that's good to have. If I got any Pokemon that use that move. Oh, we got a twin fight coming up. Yeah, Pupitar can stay up front. Let's bring... There we go. Let's give him a tank some love, because he needs to get to 45 soon. Hello. The railways are amazing. They carry lots of po Pokemon people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride a Galar chain. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Where do these people come up with this shit? Seriously, it makes no sense. A Ninetales and a Corellia. Looks like I chose the right. I may not have chose right, guys, because I've got... Because Matang is, uh... Steel and that nine tail. See, that's what I was afraid of. Super effective on Matang, not effective on Pupitar. Well, she's dead. Or he, I don't know. I didn't catch his gender. And you're dead too. Pupitar grew to 38. Corvusquire, 36. A good way to forget the troubles of this loss would be to ride the train. Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. Try the first city. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh. 
This is nice and spooky. Oh! Pretty. Lol, lol. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. What? What? She chirped. So, of course, I reply. What? What? You want to be on YouTube? Oh, she just wants to be... Oh, she wants to lay in my lab. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, you wanted to go over there. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Cats are weird is all I'm going to say. Hey, that reminds me. Check Poke Jobs. I sent a few of them out. That new badge of yours has opened up new doors. Well, let's see what we got. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna Hawaii! Yay! Oh, I scared, I scared Angel. Seems like your Pokemon did an exceptional job. They received lots of EXP for doing a great job. Whoa, damn! The clients seem happier that they've ever that they've ever been with the help of your Pokemon. Keep up the good work. It seems like Sizzlepeen has something to give you. As thanks for doing a great job, you received two <coughs> nest balls. Alright, cool. What have we here? Oh, we didn't get no celebratories. That means he Marby didn't do so good. Seems like your Pokemon. Oh, he did. Okay, great. Maybe it's because I only did one. one ugh, I only sent one. The Pokemon you sent out helped with the job. It struggled a little. Aww. Porch and Pokemon. Two loaves of bread. All right. We would like to have normal type Pokemon for customer reception as they are able to handle many different situations and tasks. Jeez, that seems like Pokemon slave labor. But it's Beaudoo dropped in, so sure, why not? Let's see, normal type, normal. Do I even have any normals? I got a Stuffle. Fuck it. I feel like I could get more contracts value with Pokemon that look like they've actually seen the afterlife, so it wants Ghost type insurance. MC insurance, wow. Yeah, that's definitely good. Let's sell life insurance and sell it to ghost Pokemon and use ghost Pokemon to sell it. Never mind. I'll do this shit later. Boing! Fuga! Fuga ga ga! I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What, you don't even... You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pr pretty lofty logic. I... I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Good luck with that. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel, too. Basically, I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does. I'd be like a po Like I became a Pokemon. What? Really? She jumped up on Lisa's, uh desk, don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my birdie feelings? Uh, maybe some other time. Is there even a clothes store here? Ooh. Ooh, rest. That's a good move to have, especially if you can like, uh, like say for example, you got a Snorlax and it learns a uh, snore, you can damage Pokemon while you're asleep. Or if you give it a Berry that awakens them up instantly. Oh boy, rest is as deadly as deadly can get. Splash. That's some weird Pokemon out here, that's for certain. What's even here? A Pokemon. That's it! Wow. What? What? 
Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Up we go. There you go. Y'all know the drill. The cats come first. Good girl. Oh, she's purring. She's purring loud. Better yet, let's set up a Pokemon camp real quick. Then we'll end the episode. Get in there. Just like your pets in real life. Play with your Pokemon. Who are we going to play with this time? Hey, how's it going? Cinder, it looks like it wants more attention. Tell me more. Cinder, looks like it's having fun. Tell me more. Seems afraid of Afraid of Matang? Well, go play! I'd be afraid of Matang, too. That sucker grows... When he's fully evolved, he's gonna weigh as much as a thousand... What is it, like eight, nine hundred pounds? What the hell? Why is my controller no longer working? My controller just fucking froze. Hang on, guys. See if I can turn the controller off real quick. There we go. I'll turn it back on. Let it reconnect. Doing all this with one hand. There we go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Intellion looks like it's enjoying camping. Let's chat. Looks like it wants more. Well, let's play. And Chandler seems to be very happy with you. Sweet. Does it say nobody under... Matang is like the, the lost, uh, the outcast child. Well, go play with him. Aww. Oh, I got... I got Matang's attention. Come and play, buddy. I don't know if y'all can hear her purring or not. She is purring. Ow. Ow, that's my leg you're clawing. Oh, Corvusquire wants to play too. How about we cook now? I'm hungry. Let's start cooking. All right, what, what can we cook? Pre-cooked burger. That sounds really good right now because I'm having burgers tonight for dinner. Before I go to, work. I gotta be at work in three hours so I can deliver a 9:30 p.m. appointment load for fucking Kroger. I hate, I hate delivering to grocery supply warehouses. I really freaking do. They take forever. They're never on time, and they always... You gotta pay a lumper every single time. It's ridiculous. Lumpers are are basically you hire people to offload the truck for you, and because of COVID, you, you are forced to hire them now. It's ridiculous. I could really use the extra 300 bucks, but nope. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you want... Man. Oh, she's at the TV now. She's uh, she's batting the fan. <laughs> yeah, it's more fun when you have the Joy Cons because you can uh. Because, of course, I can make jack-off jokes. <laughs> oh, she's batting. She's batting it. She's, she's batting the stew when it comes by. That's funny. Put your heart into it. And I did. Definitely got my tang's attention. Chow time, y'all. Burger steak curry, that looks really freaking good right now, too. 
How is it, Pupitar? Mm. What? Oh, I only got two star. Your po what? All right. Yes, quit camping. We're good. What? What? Uh, all right, we're gonna stop the video because she wants to play. I hear you, Missy. I love this cat. I really do. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode, y'all. Take care. Be safe, everybody. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this on all social media. Uh, make sure you follow me on Discord, Instagram, and uh, Gilded if y'all want. I'm working on some websites right now for... Or not websites. I'm working on some servers for them, so... Come on. Come on. You want to say goodbye? No, you don't want to say goodbye. All right. I'm going to go play with her for a little bit. I'll be back in a second, y'all. Take care. Be safe, y'all.